Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the best tweaks of the week. The first one up here is called Simple Centers. And I just wanted to mention also we do these in collaboration with ModMy.com. So be sure and go over and check them out. The first one, Simple Centers, is $1 in the Big Boss repo, as you can see. What this does, guys, it just gives you full control of your notification center and control center, allowing you to toggle on and off any or all things you do or don't want. So let me go in here to the settings part of this tweak and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. And we'll go into simple centers and you see here's notification center settings right here. And here's your long list of things that you can turn on and off. And you can just read through these as well as I can read them to you. But uh, one of the things I like about it, it does, it adds a clear, uh, a clear button and it lets you remove your notifications just by tapping one X rather than having to tap things two or three times. And also, if you're not of a, uh, a notification center user, you can completely disable it, as well as the control center. You can completely disable it. You can turn off anything you don't want to see in it. But as you can see here now, I pretty much have everything in mind. The AirPlay is a little bit displaced. It's back here. You swipe to the left to see it, but it is still there. Uh, that's where you go to get your AirPlay and all that. You got your brightness, media controls, volume, everything right there at your fingertips, as well as all your toggles. Very, very awesome tweak. And you might be asking yourself now, well, how in the world is he getting those apps above his control center? Let me show you that one while we're here. It's called Axle. And it's one of my favorite tweaks, guys, I have to say, probably this year. Uh, we're finally in iOS 8, maybe getting a few tweaks that's actually worthwhile, and this being one of them. And in this tweak, you can even turn it on and off for the lock screen if there would be some app, like maybe your phone or some, or message app you didn't want to appear. You could actually turn that on and off in here by going to apps, and then just pulling your phone app down here to disabled. And now when you go back and open this up, you see the phone app is not there. But now you can also change that to where it only appears on the lock screen if you wanted to do that. So if we go in here, I'm going to pull that back up. And it must have put it in, in the uh, alphabetical order that fast. Wow. And it did. You see right there. And I'll pull it right back up here to my enabled section. And now you see when you go to your lock screen, you can open it from there as well. Um, well, I said you could, but I it didn't it didn't open, but it said it would uh, by going in here. It says show in lock screen. So I don't know why that it's not coming up on my lock screen. Maybe I'm just not doing something. There it is. Okay. So there is exactly what I was talking about. I knew it was working earlier. And that's called Axle, guys. It's an awesome tweak and definitely one you want to check out. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Axle is two bucks. So we'll go in here to the installed section and let you see that. No, it's $1.50. So be sure and check it out, guys. Axle, I know you're really going to enjoy it. The next one is called Choose Board. And it's two bucks in Big Boss. It's a keyboard tweak. And if you don't use but two or three keyboards, I wouldn't recommend this tweak for you because I actually had to install two or three extra keyboards on top of what I was already using to even get a benefit of even having this tweak. What this tweak does, guys, is it allows you to choose between different types of keyboards and you can use your activator to do it. And you can see here, I, got, I don't even have them turned on right. So uh, you got activator methods you can choose from, and I got mine on triple press. So if we go in here to my notes now, and this is just something that I have copied. And if I hit, I messed up. If I hit triple press the correct way, you'll see that it starts, it starts shifting through different boards. And here you got Swift Key Clips is one of my favorites. And there again, you see I can go back. Triple press, and it lets you bring up different keyboards. And you have to, there it is, there's clips. You have to go in and assign them 
under activator to get them to actually work correctly but that is a pretty awesome tweak if you are a big keyboard user definitely one you want to check out called choose board and let me see here guys there's a couple more i wanted to share with you here uh for sure one of them called simple centers and we already looked at scrollers now this is a pretty simple tweak all it does is allow you to tap the scroll bar, the status bar at the top to scroll to the bottom or the top of the page so if we go in here and let's see if we go into iPhone captain and let me open it up and it'll eventually pull it up here surely now if we tap the status bar up here it should let me scroll huh it should let me scroll like so I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and let it come up and now when I touch the status bar well I have a it, it did scroll back to the top you saw that but I have a uh, screenshot activator uh, set up for that too so it's going on I would have to change that out to get that tweak to work correctly but that's called scrollers and it's free and it's definitely one that I would check out would be very awesome to have that on the iPad that way you wouldn't have to do all that scrolling and all that nonsense but you may also see up here in my status bar I have the weather that's coming through status bar weather 8 and you look up there you see the time you got little, some little clouds with the rain and 35 degrees uh, we've had miserable weather here where I live at it's finally turning to rain hopefully it'll it'll get uh, warm enough where you can get out and stir around a little bit but anyway that's pretty awesome little tweak there just to have a, something little, add a little extra for you there called status weather 8 and guys I think that's going to wrap it up for this week don't forget as always oh yeah one more before we go it's called sticker me and this is a pretty awesome little tweak and if we go in here to let me go in here to sticker me I'm going to show you how you can use your Facebook stickers you for a dollar 49 you see here and I have purchased it you can you can get your stickers to work in iMessage so if that's something you want to do be sure and check it out as you can see right here we're in iMessage and I have my Facebook stickers available so that's something you like to use a lot I say grab it you'll really enjoy it it's $1.49 guys don't forget as always if you aren't a subscriber we'd love to have you here please hit that subscribe button share this video on Facebook and Twitter that really does help me a great deal and as always keep coming back